Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you're having a phenomenal day. Quick look again at Solana, seeing what's going on. Well, it's continuing lower, folks. This is pretty much the anticipation. Uh, rejecting pretty hard off 162, consistently establishing lower highs, lower lows. Obviously, we saw a dump yesterday from Bitcoin that started this. Solana was at one point looking very strong here, holding the range of 158 to 162 uh, when Bitcoin was struggling. Now that Bitcoin's fallen down, we can see Solana doing the same thing only worse in a lot of ways. So again, while it's still not all bad, we have a good congrats here for a nice AVAX short at 43%. Uh, Solana, 10% in five days. You might be wondering, why is that so low? When 55%, 54% from Bitcoin and you know AVAX, all these coins, uh, you're taking profit all over the place. Why not a lot from Solana? Truth is, we got a little too early on Solana. Price jumped up. We maintained our trade and effectively be able to secure profits after adjusting our average entry. Okay, so again, sometimes you have to pull that off in order to make things work out. Um, I don't normally recommend adjusting a stop loss, but that, that resistance at 162 is pretty consistent based on previous patterns too. So anyways, we'll go ahead and take a look at some things here. Starting with liquidation, kind of just to kind of identify where we're at with that. Uh, when we looked yesterday, there wasn't a ton of liquidation. In fact, let's pull this up here from yesterday. Uh, Solana, there we go. Yeah, 135 to 140 is that range of liquidation that's left. Uh, minus 165, of course, we've seen that before too. Um, so the simple way to understand it is that we're still, ex this still exists, right? The 135 to 140. Um, while we're getting closer to that level, it hasn't happened yet. I think it's a distinct probability because a lot of times these more recent lows are going to work as support. So I think we should presume that 138 will be a support level. But what's to stop them from wicking the price down to 135 and recovering it instantly after that? It's a pretty common occurrence. You see it a lot in trading. Um, I just wouldn't put it past them. So just heads up on that. That's possible reality there. Keep in mind, those are, are, are really early longs that are about to get destroyed, not uh, recent longs, because any of the recent longs just got hammered. Any, anybody took a long in the 140 to, to you know, one, one, sorry, 140 to 142 range, those are the ones that just got destroyed here. Uh, so again, exactly why I've been talking for a while now. When price pulls back like this, you wait for it to bottom out. You don't just buy the dip. Now, obviously, if you had a 150x leverage trade from here to here, you're probably the bee's knees right now, and that, that's totally fine. Enjoy that while you got it. But again, that's more of a luck play that's basically going against the grain. It's trying to, um, it's really trying to run into oncoming traffic and dodge cars. It's going to be so much easier if you go with the traffic than against it. Um, there's a lot of analogies that can, can factor in, but anyways, mine are never the best. In fact, we get some funny memes going in our community about uh, <laughs> how terrible my analogies can be. Uh, anyways, that's par for the course. Let's go ahead and take a look at this daily time frame work our way down. Just a note here, of course, we can see that um, the 20 SMA is kind of the resistance for the moment. Keep in mind, SMAs are not resistance levels. They're just ranges kind of that we need to pay attention to. We're still under the 20, so in turn, there's no shift in momentum letting us know that, hey, we're back on track. Uh, that's just kind of an indication letting us know it's not going to be a foolproof plan. Uh, keep in mind, liquidation level is kind of highlighted here in the red. we got a fair value gap above us. Same thing with Bitcoin, too, though. Keep that in mind. It's a CME gap, effectively the same thing. And we can see here that uh, with you know, unless Bitcoin will recover to that level and, and sweep that, uh, we probably won't see that from Solana unless Bitcoin bottoms out, stays where it's at for a little while. Bitcoin has to maintain 58K in order for us to have any luck, right? So me personally, I have a lot of limit orders set between 55 and 50,000 even. Basically, I'm just gonna buy one, one Bitcoin every time the price drops down, okay? Again, I wanna average my position in. I may not even get that opportunity. This may be the bottom, all right? You never truly know. But a lot of things are kind of shifting momentum here and it would make more sense for Bitcoin to be you know, more on the greedy side and for a lot more profit to be taken to the downside and then to, for us to see like a pretty significant rally at that point. September is notoriously a bad month too for trading, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if we just kind of see some range-bound activity between 50 and 60K. And I know, I know you're probably rolling your eyes, why in the hell is this guy talking about Bitcoin when this is a Solana analysis? Well, folks, <laughs> open up your eyes. Bitcoin is the, the shot caller. So MACD is diverging, we can see that. We can see stochastic pulling back, we're under 50 in the RSI. There's nothing here telling us that long position is, val uh, is valid. Okay. Now, I don't care if the price shoots up tomorrow to you know 170. It's still not a legitimate play because there's not a lot of support here. Now, keep in mind, we are at this point of control here. If I'm not mistaken, we zoom out. I think we're going to have a lot of volume in this range. And that's usually a good thing, right? 
Typically, a lot of volume will imply support. However, that volume, that point of control is at 144, we're at 142. So that's generally gonna be construed as a resistance, okay? Now, it's not a definitive line, just in, it's just an area where uh, most people have accumulated Solana in the last few months. Ever since February, we've seen 144 is the most average price that's based on volume. Take a look here at the four hour. Uh, we can kind of see here, we're entering a sweeter spot here. This is an area that I generally will consider trading in some cases. So this is rare occasions, but first of all, to preface, we look at two sequential, we're at a nine. Hypothetically, we will see a bounce from here, pending Bitcoin doesn't continue to run. That being said, we look at the four hour time frame. we can recognize we're getting closer to 30. When the price holds 30 on the level here, and we see a bounce off 20 on the money flow index, it's usually a good sign the price can recover. Again, it's usually a short recovery. If I was scalping or day trading, it'd be, it'd be something I'd want to consider. Uh, either way you look at it, MACD's diverging, stochastic converging, not a lot of good stuff going on here, okay? It's still kind of a big mess. Hourly time frame, we can confirm here as well that the each mobile cloud is probably gonna say that, hey, you don't want to take a long position at all. There is no reason for it. We have a lot of momentum. We're well below the cloud. There is zero out of zero reasons to take a long position. Okay, so again, in that regard, that's kind of what we're looking at here. And in, in, in the overall sense, I think it's best to recognize that uh, no trade is a good trade for the moment. I'm waiting 24 hours before I take my next trade. That's just me personally. But again, everyone's a little different. So uh, what is your strategy? What do you plan to do? Comment below, love to hear it. And if you want, uh, jump on over to our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. Um, I post playout charts and uh, things of that nature. And I'll be posting one here soon as well for Solana. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and take my time and uh, update the charts and provide that to you here shortly. I thank you again so much for watching. I look forward to seeing the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.